Welcome to this Esther Ireland presentation on accreditation. My name is Cara Munn and I'm the Esther Ireland Programme Coordinator. So the purpose of our presentation today is just to introduce you to um, accreditation standard criteria and process. I'm going to begin by giving a little bit of a background to health partnerships and the Esther quality of partnerships. So Esther Ireland, as you may well be aware, is an initiative of the HSE and is hosted by the Irish Global Health Network. Esther Ireland facilitates and supports institutions in Ireland to partner or to link with institutions in the Global South in order to establish these institutional health partnerships. These are long term institution to institution linkages between high income and low and middle income countries that build capacity and strengthen health institutions to, prove, to improve health service delivery and outcomes. Esther Ireland provides a range of supports to these institutional health partnerships, including our small grant fund, um, technical support in the form of learning events, sharing resources, and direct technical support delivered by the Esther Ireland team as well as providing opportunities for networking, sharing, learning, and global networking with, with other institutional health partnerships. Behind all of this really is a very strong emphasis on quality of partnerships. And this is central to the Esther Ireland Institutional Health Partnership approach. So why do we focus on a quality of partnership? Really, we do this um, because it's more likely that if we focus on the quality of partnerships, that the outcomes of those partnerships will also be more effective. Um, quality of partnership means that the long term sustainability of the partnership is more likely and that they will endure beyond the specific project or outputs. It also leads to mutual learning, which enriches the experiences of both partners and promotes innovation in healthcare practice. Furthermore, quality of partnership leads to more equitable and interconnected global health landscape. Um, Esther Ireland have a number of tools that we use in order to support quality of partnership. There's the Esther Princi principles of quality partnerships, which identify seven parameters as important for good quality partnerships. We have the effect tool, which is a resource to evaluate quality in the partnerships. And of course, then there's Esther Ireland accred accreditation. So these different tools can be used at different stages. Um, and really, I suppose, to put them into context, if you want to evaluate or look at the quality of the outputs of the partnership or the effectiveness of the partnership, you might use regular m and &E tools um, and evaluation processes. But when focusing on the quality of the partnership, we emphasize that adherence to the Esther Charter for Quality of Partnerships is foundational, really, to ensuring that that partnership um, is central to the ways of working, ethical ways of working. We also then have the Esther Ireland accreditation, which is um, both an incentive and recognition of quality of partnership. And then other quality principles of partnership are in existence out there, such as the FET principles of partnership, which we would also recommend taking a look at. Um, in terms of when you are working in partnership, you wanted to have a look at the lasting benefits of partnership approach, the Esther Effect tool is what we would recommend using. So just to take a quick look then at the, the actual accreditation standard criteria and process. Um, a partnership that achieves accreditation is committed to delivering a quality service to influencing health policy and creating a sustainable partnership that will have long-term impact on health outcomes. Uh, we can say that an ESTER accredited partnership has demonstrated the highest quality of partnership and reciprocity. So what are the criteria that we use? When we talk about the criteria for ESTER accreditation, um, we look at our principles that are contained within the Charter for Quality of Partnership. So these are the seven parameters that I previously mentioned um, as follows. Adherence to national policies and strategies, 
We like to see a formal agreement in place between partner institutions, um, a partnership where there's reciprocity or mutuality, joint and equal responsibility at all stages of implementation of projects and approaches, and that there's the capacity for partnership from both partners, equity and respect, transparency and adherence to um, ethics. So in order to take a look at those um, principles in more detail, you can find them on the Esther webpage, that's esther.ie, and under quality, if you just click on quality on the top of the page, it will bring you to, the, um, to these, these principles. So the accreditation process itself, um, we have developed a tool um, to assess adherence to each principle for quality of partnership. This tool is to be completed jointly by both the Northern and the Southern Partner Institution and successful partnerships will be awarded a written letter and a plaque or certificate every two years upon re-accreditation should they apply. So the process is to go once again to the ESTER website www.ester.ie and in there under quality of partnership you will find um, accreditation. The tool is designed to allow partners to self-assess their adherence to each key principle for quality of partnerships. Partners are also asked to state the source of evidence for their answers within each area. So this involves giving a little more detail to explain why they believe they meet that criteria. And then instant feedback is provided as soon as you press submit um, of the accreditation tool. And this will just give you an indication whether or not you're ready for accreditation to receive it at this point in time. And on our side, then we receive your answers and review them and get in touch to let you know whether or not you have been accredited. And if we are not in a position to grant accreditation to a partnership that has applied for it at this point in time, we will guide you to um, make improvements in order to be able to receive that accreditation at a later stage. So here's um, just our web page. You can see highlighted there quality and under quality Esther Ireland accreditation. And that's where you'll find the accreditation tool. So as I mentioned, um, the outcomes for the possible outcomes for um, once you submit your accreditation application, partnerships that do not yet meet the criteria will be offered a follow up meeting to discuss their application and recommended steps to gain, gain accreditation in the future. And partnerships that are successful will be awarded a written letter and a plaque and a certificate will be awarded every two years upon re-accreditation. So sometimes partnerships ask, well, when is a good time? When do they know that they're ready to go through the accreditation process? And what we would say is that um, accreditation is suitable for those who are already established partnerships that can actually demonstrate their commitment to work together, that they're applying those partnerships that we've spoken about, the, the, the partner, the, the, the criteria rather that are contained within um, the Esther um, Charter of Quality Partnerships. And also what we'd say is any partnership, if you're interested in, in applying, please get in touch, have a chat with us and we will guide you through the process. Um, and hopefully if you're not ready now, you will be very soon. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch this presentation. And um, should you require any further information or want to get in touch about having a conversation about your own partnership, please do, please email cara at globalhealth.ie. Thank you so much.